Hi, I'm Ryder Hahn. And I'm Jim Schultz. We're here at Fermilab, where scientists are planning for an exciting new experiment that would send a beam of neutrinos from here in Illinois to an underground laboratory in Leeds, South Dakota. And we're going to drive the path that the neutrinos will take. Are you ready? We're all ready. Let's go then. Oh, can't forget the shovel. Might run into some bad weather. Let's go. Let's go. Can't forget the map. Of all of the particles that particle physics studies, the neutrinos are probably the most mysterious. They don't appear to have much mass, and they travel through everything, the Earth. In fact, they're traveling through us right as we speak. And in order to study these particles, Fermilab scientists hope to send an intense beam of neutrinos from this spot here at Fermilab to a mine in South Dakota, 800 miles that way. So over the next few minutes, we hope to take a road trip on the path that those neutrinos will take on their way to the intensity frontier. Right now we're in Batavia, about three and a half miles off of the Fermilab site. We're at the Fox River, and at this point, the neutrinos are traveling under, underground on their way to South Dakota. But we don't need to dig a tunnel for them because they travel right through the earth unimpeded. Have you ever heard of a neutrino before? Nope, never heard of it until you told me a while ago. Okay, do you, uh, do you know that there's thousands of them going to you uh, right now? Nope. Nope, and a lot of them come from the sun and they go right through the earth. Okay, how are they doing that? We needed to stop for some refueling here, but the neutrinos won't need to stop at all on their trip to South Dakota. We're at the National Farm Toy Museum in Iowa. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the museum? Okay, well, the museum's been here for 22 years, and um, it's um, been going along great. We've had a lot of donations and toys brought on loan into the museum, and. Um, a lot of interest and we enjoy bringing the history of farm toy collecting for people to see. Well, if you're talking like the Vindex or the Arcade, those are the very old first of the century toys and they can bring thousands. And then you get into the 70s, those toys, they are valuable. They can bring into several hundreds, you know, or to a thousand. Now there's so many toys out there that um, it's just up to the individual. If they really want that toy, they'll pay good money for it. Do you know what a neutrino is? No, I do not. Okay. Do you know that the sun creates neutrinos and neutrinos are in the universe from the Big Bang and that they travel through the earth without touching anything and they go right through you and I? Yeah. Very interesting, but no, I did not know that. Last night, when we were driving in Iowa, we were in a heavy fog when it was about eight degrees out, but it really left this beautiful, beautiful morning for us. It's three degrees, we're heading west, and we're just about at the halfway point. Well, we finally made it to the halfway point. It's 400 miles to Fermilab back in the east, and it's 400 miles to the Homestake Mine in South Dakota. We're in the northwest corner of Iowa. We're a little bit north and west of the town of Ashton. Next up, Mitchell, South Dakota. Hey, did you see that sign? Yeah, we should go there.
let's go into Einstein's costume shop and find out if they know anything about neutrinos. Right across the street from the Corn Palace, we run into Einstein's costume shop. Have you ever heard of neutrinos? Just today. Just today, okay. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I've heard of them before, yes. I've watched something somewhere on the TV about them. Do you know uh, that there's thousands of them going through you every second? I do now. You do now, okay, uh -huh. all right. <laughs> Big question is, do you have any Einstein costumes if you had the Einstein costume shop? Absolutely, and we got a good one. We use uh, 275,000 ears of corn to decorate the building annually. It's very simple. We use 12 different colors of corn to decorate the corn palace every year. The colored corn is open pollinated Indian corn that we have genetically modified to give us one whole cob of corn. Our newest color is green corn. It took five years to get this ear of corn. I'm going to ask you some physics questions. Oh, Lord. Have you ever heard of a neutrino? I've read a little bit about it in the paper, you know, I keep up on that sort of, not the scientific part of it, but because it's involving the old home state gold mine located in Leed that uh, was used to be a tourist attraction as well, and some of it still is, I, so I keep up on it, on that aspect, but uh, that neutrino stuff's way over my bald head. neutrinos for this. No trip to South Dakota is complete without a stop at Wall Drug. We're here with Virginia Collins at the Super 8 Motel in Deadwood, South Dakota, not far down from the Homestake Mine and the Sanford Laboratory. Virginia, have you ever heard of neutrinos? I have heard of neutrinos. What I understood was that you could not see them. They need to be underground in a controlled environment. Okay. That's what someone told me once upon a time. But otherwise, I know nothing about neutrinos. We're almost to leave. We better hurry. Hello, is anybody there? Yes, can I help you? We're interested in talking to someone about neutrinos. Hey, there's no one here right now. We came 800 miles. Well, I can help you with that. Neutrinos okay. myself. Uh -huh. At one time, the muon neutrino used to be called wow. the neutretto, and hardly anybody knows that. I did not did you know, know that. that. Did you know that right here at this location, Ray Davis did some early experiments about solar neutrinos? He won the Nobel Prize for that, and Leon Letterman won the Nobel Prize for his work in neutrinos. Hey, Ryder, wake up. We're there. Neutrinos. Well, we finally made it. We're here at the Sanford Underground Science and Engineering Lab at the Homestake Mine. Behind me is the Ross shaft, and 4,850 feet below the surface of this head frame, scientists hope to build some giant sensitive detectors that will intercept the neutrino beam Fermilab will be sending from 800 miles away. The detectors need to be deep underground to shield them from the overpowering noise of cosmic rays coming from space. Hey Jim, we had a great trip, didn't we? We did. We met some pretty interesting folks. Yeah, people are really interested in neutrinos. I would have never thought. Hope everyone enjoyed joining us on our trip. That's all, folks. <laughs>